Hello. Hi. Hi. Oh Hi. my gosh. Hi, Kendra. Hi. <laughs> What's the name of Excuse me, I was give, eating. Give me good life. Give me good life. Oh, girl. Oh no. So is that better? Gay That's day. Good. That's good. Okay, I'll look at me. What's the name? Hi, Avia. my name is Avia. Avia? Yes. Avia, where are you calling me from? I'm calling you from Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas. How old are you? I'm 36. 36? What you do for a living? I'm a claims adjuster for an insurance company. Claims adjuster. Okay. Do you have any kids? I have two boys. Two boys. How old are your boys? Uh, seven and four weeks. Seven and four weeks. Four weeks. Four weeks. Girl, you didn't have sex yet. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> How you looking? Your vagina ain't even healed. Close. How you looking for a new penis? And your vagina ain't even healed yet. I'm not looking for a penis. I'm looking for a husband. <laughs> well, the husband. Why, 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 why ain't you married to the man you had a baby with four weeks ago? That was my plan but that wasn't his plan so but what did here you realize we are. it wasn't his plan i'm sorry say that again when did you realize it wasn't his plan uh, um after he broke up with me when did he break before the baby was born you? october when? when the baby was born before the baby was born he broke up with you while you were pregnant while i was pregnant yes what the hell was the reason <laughs> you didn't have an ask? Your guess is just as good as mine. I didn't ask. Uh, just the excuse was enough for me. What so. was the excuse? Uh, he said that I didn't meet his standards. Um, he didn't see himself with me for a long period of time, and he didn't want to be married. How long were you guys dating for? So we've been off and on since 2019. So let's get so, to the nitty gritty. Were y'all in a off and on means were y'all never in a real relationship? We were in a relationship, yes. This so, let me just say this past, I want to say uh in March of last year, that's when it was like official. We were we were like, you know, this is gonna happen, we're gonna be committed, this is gonna be marriage. But then after we moved in together, it was just like now let me uh, ask you this. In March, is that when you learned you were pregnant? Yeah. So yeah. basically, so here's here's okay. I want to get to the all the story. Mm -hmm. So basically, y'all were off, off and on. So before you got pregnant, you were not in a committed relationship. We were. We decided that we wanted to be in a committed relationship. Before you got pregnant. Well, I, I was already pregnant, but I didn't know that I was pregnant. So how long? Okay. Okay, because I gotta get. I, I want to get to the the foundation. Okay. What I'm trying to get okay. to is the foundation. So you guys were off and on for how long? Since 2019, so four years in 2023. So what part, when did y'all become an exclusive, he's my man, I'm, I, I'm his girl relationship, just the two of y'all? So I want to say that was in February, that's, February of last year. February okay, of that's last when y'all both agreed yeah. to be in an exclusive relationship. Yes, yes. When did you get pregnant after that? I think I was pregnant in february like february march i found out in april i want to say that i was pregnant okay and then y'all moved in, did y'all move in together because you were pregnant? no we didn't know we moved in together in march moved you, in together okay. around, around march and then i found out in april that i was okay. pregnant okay so now you're living together you're pregnant and then october how many months are you uh so i had the baby december 1st okay so so how many months were you in October? October, I was, what, 37 weeks. So I was like, what, almost eight months. Almost so eight months. So eight months pregnant, eight months pregnant, he came to you and said, I don't want to be, in, did he move out? No. no, shit. I mean, shoot, we were still living together. How, we were still living together. Break up with a pregnant girl that you're living with while she's eight months pregnant. Your guess is just as good as mine. I want to say this. This is, he's, that was terrible, right? And I think he could have at least, he could have gave it more of an effort, you know? I don't, but I wanted to get the foundation because these are the risks 
that you take. Yeah. Ladies, when you make life decisions without having a lifetime agreement. You know, That's a right. baby is a lifetime agreement with a person. You know, like, regardless of how you see it, you guys are connected. Whether you're married or not, you have a child together. And so this human being, you guys are co-parenting. But you have to get the foundation together before you have a child together because I think it's terrible that he broke up with you at eight months pregnant while you were living with him. But the more I'm getting to the details, your foundation wasn't solid. Right. I think it was more so mine. I didn't, we didn't have a clear definition of what commitment was. I was clear about what I wanted, my commitment. I want to be married. I wanted a husband. That's what I wanted. And from what he said, that's what I thought he wanted too. But come to find out, it wasn't. I think it was just more so he didn't want to see me with anybody else. So it's like, let me just say that I want what you want. So you won't be with anybody else. But yeah. Do you guys co parent well? Um <laughs> there I I would say it'll get better in the future. Right now, not really no. Did he move out? I moved out. Oh, I don't I like out. this man. You moved <laughs> out with the baby? I moved out, yes. With my baby. I sure did. I sure Was did. Was he there when you gave birth? Yeah, he was there. Okay. okay. So, all right. So that's because the reason I was asking all these questions, <laughs> he had a baby four weeks ago. Now we're going to continue, but you do have to answer this because there's going to be men that are going to feel like, like I said, you know, technically they say you can't have sex until six weeks after you have a baby. So you are not even in the vagina. Your vagina ain't even healed yet. So with that being said, <laughs> what do you say to the man that is concerned that you just had a baby four weeks ago? Concern, I mean, don't be concerned because, I mean, it's not, to me, it's not always about sex. I mean, you know. Well, honey, I think, I think <laughs> some women got to get this. You can't understand how having a baby four weeks ago could be to a guy, like, that could be a big thing. Would you date a guy that had a baby four weeks ago? It depends on the situation. It definitely depends on the situation. Um I mean, if it was like mine, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> if it was like my situation, absolutely. Why not wait? I'm just curious. Why not wait some more time before you start dating somebody else? Because I feel like the back and forth and just how it ended, it's it's no resurrecting it. It's definitely no, no, not. No, I'm not talking about him. I'm just saying for you. Why not wait more time to just focus on your newborn child? And some other things opposed to dating somebody else? Uh, well, this is not my first one. <laughs> and I'm emotionally um, independent and I would say stable enough to be able to have both. I mean, even before my son or even before I got pregnant, it's always been my desire to be in not necessarily a, a committed relationship, but have a husband. I don't really want to be on the dating scene to be honest with you i just want a man that wants to be married that wants to be committed that wants to be with one person like that's what i want <laughs> so you have two kids are they by different men yes okay so now understandably you want to you want a husband how would you go about it different now to get a husband opposed to the two men you had children with? what would you do absolutely i definitely wouldn't rush um, definitely will take my time. Definitely will have more conversations, uh, ask more questions, definitely to make sure that we're on the same page. Um, and just take it slow, to be honest with you. Okay. So we got Ava, Houston, Texas. Avia. Ava, I'm sorry, Avia. <laughs> Avia, Houston, Texas, 36, claim adjuster, mine are two boys. What's your zodiac sign? Mm. I'm a cancer. Cancer. And you have a seven-year-old and a four-week. Is it a girl or a boy? Boy. Both are boys. Both are boys. Seven-week-old oh, seven and a four-week-old. Um, and never married, but wants to get married. And your kids are by two different men, correct? Yes, correct. All right. All right. So what kind of man are you looking for now, honey? I want a man that has a relationship with God. I want a man that is able to not only lead, but follow, um, teach, and also be able to learn. 
Um, I definitely want a man that's family oriented. Um, definitely one. Um, I would say active in the church, but as long as he has a relationship, that will do for me. Um, definitely want one with godly morals and values. Wants a man that wants to be committed. Um, that doesn't mind wanting to be, you know, a stepfather. Um, he definitely, it's okay if he has children. Um, it would be definitely okay if he has, you know, a good relationship, not necessarily with his mother, but also, you know, with his child's mother. Because that would tell me a lot about him. Definitely want a man that takes care of his responsibility, whether it be children, whether it be his lifestyle, his health. Uh, mental health, definitely want a man that is open to counseling, um, therapy, um, and that's emotional intelligent. I definitely want a man that I can have intellectual conversations with, one that respects my mind, values, challenges me, um, and just want a good, all around good man. <laughs> okay. What one who to knows, definitely, he has to know who he is. Just, he has to know who he is <laughs> yes no he is what are your deal yes. breakers um my deal breakers are atheists um cheaters because <laughs> mine definitely has to be loyal and trustworthy okay. um and i think that's all i can think of right now but definitely atheist is a deal breaker okay does he have to look a certain way <laughs> Um, not really. to me. Oh, your audio I, went out. Uh oh. Say again. I said, I think my battery is really low. Um, as long as he has a good, good personality and, you know, good hygiene, I mean, looks, we can look past that. Also, so no. Not that I, I don't care. <laughs> it's not that I don't care. Um, I mean, you know, handsome to me. Handsome to me. Handsome. Come healed. Yes. Healed. What about money? Does he have to make a certain amount of money? Uh, I'm good with me. So, I mean, no. I mean, he can't be broke, but then I'm not looking for him, you know, to make like thousands of dollars or anything like that. No. Okay. Do you want more kids? I need you probably one more. So you got one more? Yes. Um, let's do the Kendra cam. Uh oh. Let me see. Let me see if you can see me. See if you can see me. I went walking today. Let me take these off. This Girl, so I for weeks ago, how the hell are you so skinny? Your <laughs> snapback is like, <laughs> what the? You look really I'm sorry, good I took my headphones off. Four weeks ago. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, thank you. Listen. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you respond to this because, you know, as a highlight, people are definitely going to say you should be waiting, you know, longer than four weeks to meet somebody new. Do you have a response to those comments? Um, like I said before, um, I'm definitely healed enough to be able to not necessarily juggle it, but uh, uh, have a solid foundation and being able to balance both. Um, I think it more so it depends on the man if this is something that he wants to take on um that will definitely be <laughs> that would definitely be his choice okay fair enough so was your last relationship the one in october yes okay and you don't have to answer but i'm gonna ask when's the last time you was intimate with someone oh it was probably somewhere in november and was it your child's father? Yes. Yes, so you it was. broke October and then you had sex again in November? We did. Only because I say it was around November, only because we were trying to get my water to break. It was the only reason. But after that, no. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That was a lot. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. So, okay, and then, and, and y'all literally made this agreement. So he broke up with you, said all these things. I can't see, I don't see a future with you. And then y'all come together in November to have sex to induce you? Yeah, we, we were still in the same household, so yeah. 
So when did he, when did, when did y'all move out? When did you move I, out? I moved out, this was like a week and a half after my son was born. So you moved out three, three weeks mm-hmm. ago? Mm-hmm. So you just left the house? Yeah. Did he, did, did he give you any protests? No, he wasn't there. He was out of town. He works out of town. So I did it while he was gone. So y'all broke up last October. You had sex one last time in November. You had your son in December and you just moved out three weeks ago. Yep. Girl, (laughs) girl. I say this with all the love I can muster in my soul. Take some time and be a mom. You got to get some stuff together. You just moved into a new place. I, I mean, listen, you can do what you want to do, but I truly believe in single seasons. Single seasons are moments in my life when I chose not to date because I had to get my shit together for whatever reason, right? And everybody's shit together is a different thing. I'm not saying you don't have your shit together, but you are a new mom. You just broke up. You just left the baby daddy three weeks ago. You know, you have a four-week-old child. You, you, you still have to deal with this man in some manner. It's all so new. I, I really think if you just gave yourself some months to adjust in this way, you can attract the type of quality man that you desire. But at the end of the day, it's your life, you know, and, and y'all make your own decisions. But... I just think you went through so much in the last three months to attract a new whole guy within your life. You don't think so? I mean, I do, but like I said before, you know, this is this is definitely not the first time. And I guess, you know, I definitely respect and receive what you are saying. And you know, in a sense, you are right, but I think. <sighs> I just think Let me more. Say, this is on my spirit. This is on my spirit. You have people have to learn how to function single, and I say that because when you don't know how to function single, a lot of times you tolerate anything to stay in a relationship. When you learn how to be happy single, and I'm not talking about flash and money, all those things. Your 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 treatment has a standard because you treat yourself a certain way, right? Right. So when you learn how to be happy by yourself. When somebody else is coming into your life and spirit and not doing you right, you're automatically going to remove yourself because you know, by myself, I'm happy. Right. So I don't have to stay in this relationship and feel this way. When you don't ever challenge yourself to learn happiness by yourself, this is why so many people, not just women, stay connected to people because not having someone is so lonely and, and the idea of it is so hard. But trust me when I tell you, you have got to learn. You came into this world by yourself. So you got to learn what happiness is without another person so you can require it. It it would be a requirement. Like, I'm so good by myself that you have to be good to me because, I mean, I'm fine, you know? And I just think that, again, it's your life, but I just think there is some time needed in between this. But let me just ask you this, like, why do you feel right now a guy would be lucky to be with you? I feel that way. And I'm just a uh, caveat to what you just said. I've had that season before of singleness um, in between the time that um, my child's father, this one, uh, when we first started dating in 2019 and also, you know, when we stopped dating in 2019, I had a whole three years of just me by myself being single. And it's like, I may seem, you know, not necessarily desperate, but I know how to be alone and I'm okay with being with me and I'm okay with leaving when I'm not being served anymore. So it's like, I, I've been through that. So in this season or in this time, I wouldn't say that it's easy, but it's like, I know how to move on and I know how to, you know, be by myself. So it's more so it's not a need. It's, it's a want. <laughs> it's a want that I feel that I'm ready for. And I know it's like, yes, I've been through so, so much in the past, you know, couple of months and just like throughout my pregnancy, I've been through so much, so much so to where I know that 
I need a new beginning and not necessarily a new beginning with someone that I desire, but more so just, I know, you know I need something to compensate from all the stuff, you know, that I went through. Cause like you said, it was a lot. It was a lot, a lot, a lot. Uh, but why, if, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, well, I was gonna say, hey, okay. So why do you feel as though, like, what would you say? Why would, the last question is, why would a guy be lucky to be with you? A guy would be lucky to be with me just because of the simple fact I'm loyal. Um, I'm, I am independent as far as I want to work. I don't mind working. I want to be a helpmate. I want to be a wife. I want to, you know, be with one person. I want to grow with someone, you know, for the rest of my life. So I think that just my value and my mindset will do nothing but build and add, you know, to a man and likewise. And I think that that's rare these days. Okay. And what, what are your three flaws? I forgot to ask you that question. Uh, uh, I would say that I guess I move too fast <laughs> would be one. Um, I guess I'm too trusting. That would be one, but definitely learn my lesson. Um, the third one. Um, I guess I can go out on the limb and say um, trusting in potential and not necessarily um, actions. Or not necessarily actions. Okay. I don't want to say your name wrong. I think I got, it's not Avia. It's, um, it is Avia. Oh, yes. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Avia, do you want the guy to be in Houston, Texas? Um, He doesn't have to be. I don't mind what? traveling. And if he doesn't mind traveling. Travel? two small kids when it when it comes to time i have a great i have a perfect support system so when it's time when it's time when i can okay. i will we, we will uh, um what's the age range you would date you're 36 uh definitely older than me um the cap would be 50 you would go to 50 yep. and you yes. said that you would have one more child yes i say one more we'll see We'll see. All right. All right, honey, how could this man reach out to you? Uh, my Instagram, it's my name, Avia Avia. Um, it's spelled A-V-E-E-Y-A-H and then A-B-I-A-R. It's all together. Avia Avia. All right, but will you keep me posted on how it goes? Listen, I'm praying for you. Please. I think you're a beautiful Thank you. girl. Listen, I think you're a, beauty, a beautiful girl. Um, again, I already shared you, I already shared with you my personal thoughts, but you are grown and you have to live life and make your own decisions. So I, I do truly wish you the best. Thank you. And real, real quick, if you, he's paying child support, right? We go to court next Thursday, so we'll okay. see. I Thank know you. men don't like it, but no, if you help create a child, you need to help pay for that child. I'm a big component and if you don't want to be there, that's fine, but the child is innocent and you help create the child and two incomes does help with the opportunity of better opportunities for the child. So definitely don't be out here struggling. <laughs> does the first one pay child support? No. no. Why not? He's in prison. Oh, child, Avia. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the thing. I wanted to be married, Girl, but you're not so I wouldn't have. Doing anything, you're not doing anything <laughs> to be a wife. You're not doing. You're, you're not doing it right to go about. Being, I'm just gonna give it to you, real raw and with love, real raw and love. Not to be hurtful, but mm -hmm. if you want to be a wife, you gotta move like a wife. You're not moving like a wife right now, sweetheart. I receive it. And if you want a husband, you have to move like a wife. And you know, it's it's always very challenging because, like I said, I don't. I don't have a mean spirit. That's not the goal. I don't want to hurt your feelings. I don't, I don't take joy in everybody about to talk about you because you're a black woman. I'm a black woman. So there is a heart I have for you, but I think it's 2024. And if we want things like being, getting a husband and being a wife, you got to move like a wife. Then, okay. And if you want a husband, you got to move like a husband. And is that I receive it. I'm going to pray for you. That's all I, I, I don't want to keep beating you down. So I'm just going to say, I'm going to pray for you. Um, I'm not even going to get into the details of the first child's father. Um, but I think, you know, you have to, you said it, 
You got to start selecting men better. You got to start, you know, pouring more into yourself. And do you have any married friends? Um, no. <laughs> Get you some married friends. Start learning about marriage. Start learning. Talk to married men. Ask them why do they marry their wives? You know, what made that woman special enough for you to marry her? Like, I always get y'all some married mentor mentors in real life. And everybody's marriage is different. But if marriage is the goal, y'all need to get y'all some married mentors so y'all can understand what marriage really is about and why sometimes men say, I'm not going to marry you because of this reason. Because here's the reality, you know, you have one child's father that's in prison. You have a, a baby that's four weeks old. You know, a man that comes into your life that's about something, he has to take all these things in consideration because your life becomes his life. And then if he has a family, let's get into this. We don't talk about this enough. The family might be like, no, you can't marry her. No, you know, or, or no, we're not adding, you know, this or whatever the case may be. So I'm not, I'm not, I, I'm not God. I'm not God. So I cannot say you ain't never going to be a wife because I don't have that type of knowledge. I think you are a sweet woman. I just think that there's just some things you have to learn more. And I'm just going to pray for you. That's all I really have. I'm not a life coach. I'm not a relationship coach. But when you sit here for four years and you talk to men and you talk to women, you start to learn some things. But overall, I'm going to pray for you. Thank you. Okay? I receive it. Thank find you. you. Some married, find you some married friends. <laughs> That's everybody's. Everybody wants to be married. Get you some married friends. So y'all can start learning about the real deal in marriage because what's happening is y'all on social media all damn day and y'all thinking everything is so happy, so go lucky. And y'all need to get y'all some married friends so y'all can learn the truth about marriage. All right. I, I, I believe in marriage, but I think I got to learn the real realities of marriage. I love you. Thank you. Love you too. Thank you. Right. Bye, sweetheart. Right, bye bye. bye.